guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my 12th update for my uh, project pan roulette. This used to be a year long project pan, but last video, if you guys watched, um, I left a poll at the end of the video and asking you guys if you guys wanted to, wanted me to make December my finale or continue on until I had gone through all of the categories. Um, not finished all the products, but just as long as I had um, incorporated all the categories into the project. And you guys wanted me to go through until that happened. So that being said, this is not a finale. This is a 12th update. And I'm just going to get started. Since last month, I was able to finish three items. So I'm very happy about that. The first one I'm going to show, show you guys is this bubble bath from Pecknif Pecksniffs, England. This is a uh, luxury, luxury bath soak. Uh, I bought this at Marshalls for $7.99. It's a huge glass um, bottle, and I love this. It's the second time I've used this. Same scent, uh, grapefruit and citron. Sorry, my dogs wanted to pee. Anyway, um, second time I bought this, I have a third one, but in a different scent. Um, last update, I was... I never marked it. I didn't mark it. Did I? Is this my last update? No, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think I marked it. I'm gonna have to watch my other update <laughs> to see if I marked it or not. But regardless, I finished it. Um, I would recommend this if you guys um, run into this brand, uh, particularly this bubble bath at Marshalls. Uh, I would recommend it. It lasts forever. The bubbles last forever in the bath. Uh, it's very foamy, bubbly. How do you say it? Um, and it smells really nice and, and it's very um, hydrating to the skin. So I would recommend this. For the category of uh, something pink, I finally used up my eyeshadow primer from Laura Geller. This is the Ice Spackle in the color Mauve Majesty. And this is a brush tip applicator type eyeshadow primer. And this one, let me give you guys a swatch. That's the color right there, like a mauve pinky color. Um, I like this. This is the third one I used this year. I got this in a new beauty test tube back when I used to subscribe to that. Um, I don't think I would repurchase uh, just because I, I think I'm, I used three of these back to back to back and I think I'm just tired of just using this and I want to try other primers. So I wouldn't repurchase but I did like it while I used it. And the third thing that I finished was for the item of uh, something I'm currently loving I think that's what the category was or something like that but it was this Too Faced perfect liner eyeliner I can't remember the name uh, but as you guys can see or I hope you guys can see there's like a hole there because the pencil came out um, so I guess that's a sign that it was drying out because it was so old and I couldn't sharpen it anymore because the little plastic at the end spins so couldn't happen anymore and then eventually whatever was left here fell out so those are the three items that I did finish so yay for me for the other ones let's just get started um, for the item uh, for the category of product that was a gift I was using this um, cuticle oil this came in a little like nail care gift that I got for my birthday a couple years ago I think it was a couple years ago um, but as you guys can see I still I made it a point to use it every day before I go into bed and same amount of progress as last update I was up here and now I'm down to here so pretty similar amounts of updates so I mean of progress so I'm glad that I'm being consistent and I'm using this one so yay for that one the next thing that I have here that has a lot of progress was something that was that came up on my last update and it was for the category of item you want to buy in the full size or item that you want to repurchase. So for that, I went with this Too Faced Prime and Peachy uh, Cool Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Um, I had used a another sample of this a while back and I really loved it. And I had another one and I figured that would be the best uh, product for this category. I really, really like it. I really do want to buy the full size. I've been a lot oilier than I used to be. I don't know why. It's winter. I should have like dry skin. <laughs> but um, this really helps to keep me matte and it doesn't break down my foundation and it keeps it in place. 
Um, so I really, really like it. I do recommend it. I think it's good for oily skin. It was brand new when I started it, and now I am down to here. So about halfway through, maybe this can be done next update. Um, I am using, I'm not using this exclusively. I have another um, face primer in another project, in my Avengers project pen. So that's why I didn't um, make more progress on this one. I think I would have been able to finish it if I had used it the whole month. Um without incorporating other primers, but I mean, I like it. It's lasting me a little longer, <laughs> so I guess that's good. Uh, for the next item is for the category of something shimmery, and unfortunately, there's not much progress. I had gone with this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal, and last update, I was up here, and I am down to here. Um, I think I used it maybe twice, if, I'm, if I can remember, if that, maybe three times, I don't know. Uh, but as you guys can see, there's not much. I made a huge chunk of progress from the last time. And then, I don't know, I just kind of forgot about it. Yeah, not much progress. Hopefully, I'm going to try to incorporate it and maybe put it in my um, moisturizer when I'm putting, uh, before putting on my primer. That way, there's like layers and this doesn't come out through so intense. So, that's this one. The next category was oldest item in my collection and for that I, I am using this Bare Minerals uh, Loose Eyeshadow in the color Starlight. And this does have progress, yay, finally. <laughs> Last update I couldn't figure out the progress, uh, but I hadn't really moved from that top line, that's where I started this project. And I hadn't, um, I think I've had this for maybe like six, five, six months, maybe more. Can't remember when I added this in, but um, the product would stay on the, around the top line and there wasn't enough uh, progress to even bother making another line. However, when I checked today, the product has gone down. So there you go. Uh, when I finished my palettes for Panda Palette, my eyeshadow palette, I started using this one. So finally, uh, some progress. It's not gonna be done anytime soon because it's a loose eyeshadow, so th those take longer to go through. But I'm really enjoying using it, um, so I'm happy that I have finally progressed. The next item was the item that I regret purchasing, and this is from MAC, is the uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Soft and Gentle. I have come to really enjoy this. <laughs> I no longer regret buying it. Um, let me show you guys first the progress. Um, as your last update, you could barely see the side pan, very, very little. But now the side pan has significantly improved and now you guys can see like the little dented squares in the bottom of the pan. There's a huge like uh, slope right here where I use my brush. I, I would have maybe had a little bit more progress if I kept focusing the brush here, but I have been focusing the, the brush on the, on the rest of the dome to see if I can flatten it a little bit more. So um, I was telling you guys I no longer... Um, Regret purchasing this when I first bought it um, and I started using it. This is a, I think it's a very intense highlight, or maybe I was just being too heavy handed with it. Um, but I found a brush in my collection that um, it works really well with this uh, bronzer, uh, bronzer, highlighter, and I am wearing it today and, and now I'm enjoying using it. So, um, <laughs> It's still gonna stay in this category for product I regret purchasing, um, but I don't regret it anymore because now I like it. Then I have the item of my choice, and for that I went with this setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm really bad about using um, base sprays, so I decided to go ahead and add this one. I'm hoping to finish this one by the end of the year. My current update right now is right here, so I have about two weeks to use this much. I don't know if this is half of this distance right here. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know. So I have two weeks to use this up. I would, I'm gonna like hurt myself if there's like this much left by the time December 31st comes out. So hopefully this can be in my uh, items I used up in 2017. And lastly, I have for the category of um, one of your most expensive items in your collection. And I went with this Marc Jacobs uh, foundation. This is the Mar Marvelous, Marvelous Mousse uh, foundation in the color 34 beige medium and this foundation has like a little plastic once you take off the, the cap and this is what it looks like there's a good dent in here <sighs> I don't know how to feel about this foundation this foundation is very 
solid. The way that I figure out how to work this is um, once it comes, you put your finger there and the warmth of your skin works with the product, the product turns into liquid. So it's not really mousse. I was expecting it to be the consistency of, because obviously I bought it and I never opened it. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking it was gonna be the same consistency as the um, Revlon uh, mousse foundation. Is that what it's called? The one that comes in the glass tub? Uh, because I've used one of those before and it's very like moussey. You go like this with your finger and then it leaves a little peak of product. This one is really, really hard, very solid, kind of like balm like consistency and like i said once you put your finger in there and it warms up the product it turns liquid um so um, there's 0.6 ounces in this little container there's not a lot and but i haven't hit the bottom of the pan so i'm i'm thinking this is going to go fairly quickly but this is really full coverage i'm not used to full coverage foundation so it took me a while to figure out how to use it because my face looked super super cakey when i started using this and it just it just i didn't know how to work it i couldn't i couldn't use it with a beauty blender that new uh, foundation brush that i brought from sephora it wasn't really working the brush that was that works with this foundation surprisingly is the the brush from target it's from the up and up brand and i can't remember if it's a i think it's a complexion brush but yes that's the brush that is working with this so I'm gonna keep using it and we'll see if I'm able to finish it. So there you go guys, that's the update for the seven remaining products. Since I finished uh, three products, I'm gonna pick three items from this category right here. I have my computer here um, and let's just see what uh, random.org says. So I have 18 categories, no, not 18, I have 16. Why did I put 18? I have 16 categories, okay, here we go. <gasps> Number 12. A bronzer I'm so glad I finished my bronzer from last update because then I'd have two bronzers so um, number 12 a bronzer second one number 14 an urban decay product dang okay all right that's okay <laughs> the next one number nine Product with beautiful packaging. Ugh. I think these are gonna be hard. Well, except for the bronzer. I know what what bronzer I wanna use. So I'm gonna go with a bron number 12, a bronzer, number 14, an Urban Decay product, and number nine, product with beautiful packaging. So let me go take a look at my stuff and I'll be right back. Man, that was hard. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this much trouble picking out items for the categories that I am choosing, but I guess as the categories are dwindling down, they're getting a little bit more tough, I guess, if you will. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I'm not very happy or excited, to be honest, with the items that I picked out, but my collection is at a point right now where a lot of stuff that I have is brand new or full-sized. I have a big project pan with my Avengers project pan, so I didn't want to like double up on much of the same product on both projects so i hope you guys are okay with the item that i picked but anyway for um number 12 a bronzer i went with a bronzer that is in my it cosmetics live love laugh vitality face disc bought this palette i don't know five years ago maybe maybe six maybe i it's been a while but that after I finished the bronzer that was in this project, um, I started using this one and I was able to hit pan. That's my starting point right now. And as you guys can see, I have a pretty substantial pan right here. And then I also hit pan on the, on the blush, but we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> so that is the bronzer. Hopefully um, I can use this. I wanna try to use up this palette in 2018. Um, just because it's one of my oldest face palettes. So, I mean, I'm off to a good start, so we'll see about that one. The next category was number 14, an Urban Decay product, and I went with an eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in the color Zero. Since I just finished that black eyeliner in um, this update, so I figured I could add another one. I'm always using black eyeliner anyway. And this one is brand new. This is a deluxe size. It came in, a, in an Urban Decay palette, so. 
that is this one. I will measure it on a piece of paper and then show you guys the progress next time. And lastly, for beautiful packaging, this is what the one that gave me the hardest time. Um, this is gonna sound bad, but I don't, I'm not really like driven to purchase things because of packaging. Like people say like, oh, this is beautiful packaging. And I'm just like, oh, okay, well, it's nice. It's nothing like breathtaking. <laughs> so I'm not, um, I guess you can say like influenced by packaging when I purchase my thing. So because of that, I feel like the stuff that I own, nothing's like, oh my God, that's amazing packaging. That's beautiful. I just think, you know, it's nice. <laughs> Um, but I went with a mascara and this is from Lancome. This is the Grandiose Waterproof Mascara and I liked it because this is a very, it feels like it's a very luxurious um, packaging. It's very, I don't know, just I guess because of the, the, the packaging and then the fact that the, there's a rose here on top and it's kind of like a, in a clear plastic and you can see the rose. I don't know, I think this is a very like lux luxurious um, nice looking slash or parentheses beautiful packaging so i hope you guys are okay with that and that's it guys that is my update for my project pan roulette update number 12. i hope that you guys enjoyed predictions for next month i'm hoping this will be gone and i am hoping that the primer will be gone as well other than that i really don't think i'm gonna finish anything else so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.